Meet WASP-12b. This is the only planet we've ever discovered that's literally being eaten alive by its own star. Every single second, this planet loses enough material to fill 6,000 Olympic swimming pools. That's 6 billion tons gone. And if you think that's mind-blowing, stay with me, because you're about to discover how we caught this cosmic catastrophe in action, what this means for Earth's ultimate fate, and the shocking prediction about when this planet will meet its violent end. At 1,200 light years away, WASP-12b is practically in our cosmic backyard. But don't let that fool you. It would still take us millions of years to reach this world with our fastest current technology. Now, you might be thinking this is just another giant planet, but WASP-12b is special. Picture Jupiter, already big enough to fit 1,300 Earths inside it. Well, WASP-12b is 40% larger than that. But size isn't what's killing this planet. It's the heat. Your kitchen oven maxes out at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. A pizza cooks at 700 degrees Fahrenheit. Steel melts at 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. But WASP-12b, its surface roasts at a mind-melting 4,700 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to turn titanium into vapor. And here's where things get truly bizarre. This massive planet isn't even round anymore. The star's gravitational pull is so intense, it's stretching WASP-12b into the shape of an egg. Now here's something that will break your brain. While Earth takes 365 days to orbit the Sun, WASP-12b races around its star in just 26 hours. That's right, a year on this planet is about the same as a day on Earth. Imagine if we moved Earth 20 times closer to the Sun. We'd be toast, right? Well, WASP-12b is so close to its star that if you place them both in our solar system, the planet would be closer to its star than Mercury is to our Sun. We're talking about a planet that's basically hugging a furnace. To understand what this extreme proximity does, try this. Take a rubber band and slowly stretch it. That's basically what's happening to WASP-12b. Except the rubber band is a planet, and the force stretching it is gravity gone wild. At these insane speeds, WASP-12b is whipping around its star at 217 kilometers per second. That's over 485,000 miles per hour, fast enough to circle Earth in just five minutes. But this cosmic race comes at a terrible price. The star's gravity isn't just pulling on the planet. It's pulling harder on the front than the back by forces millions of times stronger than Earth's gravity. And this is where our story takes an even darker turn. Because this gravitational tug of war isn't just reshaping the planet, it's literally tearing it apart. Remember that 6 billion tons of material we mentioned earlier? Let's put that in perspective. Every single second, WASP-12b loses enough mass to outweigh all of humanity 800 times over and we can actually see it happening. The planet's atmosphere isn't just evaporating, it's being yanked away by the star's gravity, kinda like a cosmic vacuum cleaner. At 4,700 degrees Fahrenheit, the planet's atmosphere is literally boiling away. But here's the truly mind-bending part. The side facing the star is even hotter. We're talking temperatures so extreme that molecules are being ripped apart. The entire planet is essentially becoming a cosmic vapor. Scientists have detected something extraordinary in this stream of destruction. The chemical signature tells us we're not just seeing hydrogen and helium. We're watching the building blocks of an entire planet being torn apart and consumed by its star. At this rate, in about three million years, a blink of an eye in cosmic terms, WASP-12b will be completely devoured by its star. We're not just watching a planet die, we're witnessing the entire life cycle of a planetary system. But you might be wondering, how do we know all of this? How can astronomers possibly measure a planet being eaten alive from 1200 light years away? First, astronomers noticed something odd in 2008. Every 26 hours, the star WASP-12 would dim slightly, like someone was regularly turning down its brightness. This dimming told us a planet was passing in front of the star, what astronomers call a transit. But this transit looked different from anything we'd seen before. 
Astronomers split the star's light into its component colors, like a cosmic rainbow. Hidden in that rainbow were the elements of a dying planet. What's interesting is that the planet leaves behind a trail of material which creates a second, fainter dimming of the star's light. It's like catching the evidence of a crime scene in space, except the crime is stellar cannibalism. To confirm this wasn't just a cosmic coincidence, astronomers used multiple telescopes, including Hubble. Each new observation added another piece to the puzzle. The shape of the planet, its temperature, the rate it's losing mass, everything pointed to a planet in its death spiral. But WASP-12b's discovery opened up an even bigger question. Is this a cosmic oddity, or are we watching the fate that awaits many planets in the universe? And more importantly, what does this tell us about the future of our own solar system? We used to think planetary systems were stable, unchanging places, but WASP-12b shows us that planets can migrate, transform, and even be destroyed by their stars. We found more planets like this, Kelt 16 b WASP-121b, WASP-103b. All of them are locked in a death spiral with their stars. Each one tells us this isn't a freak accident. It's a natural part of how some planetary systems evolve. Now, before you worry about Earth, our planet is safe for now. But in about 5 billion years, our sun will become a red giant, expanding to roughly Earth's orbit. Several of our solar system's inner planets might face a fate similar to WASP-12b's. It's like watching a preview of our solar system's distant future. These discoveries are forcing us to rethink everything, from how planets form to how they die. We're learning that planetary systems are more dynamic and violent than we ever imagined. And this has huge implications for our search for habitable worlds. But the story of WASP-12b isn't over. There are still questions that new telescopes and technologies will have to answer, like, why did WASP-12b migrate so close to its star in the first place? Are we seeing the normal end-of-life process for hot Jupiters? Could some planets actually survive this kind of stellar embrace? So new discoveries await, and who knows, the next big revelation about our cosmic neighborhood might be just around the corner. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.